Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Coach's Corner. Coach Adam Hale, I'm Bob Rombach. Big week coming up. We've got the Lady Smith game. It's kind of been circled in the calendars for a while now, and it's finally here. Lady Smith having a heck of a good season as well. They're undefeated in the conference, just like the Grantsburg Pirates. So uh, each team has one loss. Both teams have lost to a really good program. Grantsburg lost to St. Croix. Lady Smith lost to Edgar who's a perennial powerhouse, and uh, so now it's kind of a collision. It's finally here. You're going to, to Lady Smith. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, let's recap the last game, Shatek Warehouser Homecoming 2024. You guys had a good game. Tell, tell us a little bit about the game and if you were pleased or if you were upset. Yeah, no, we were very pleased. Homecoming, um, we talk about the distractions and all mm -hmm. that, but Kids, once again, were really focused, and it means a lot to them. They came out, played well, played pretty clean, um, got out to that big 15 nothing run, our start right mm -hmm. away, and then they scored, and then I think we kind of refocused again and mm -hmm. played well throughout the rest. Uh, their starting quarterback didn't play, so yeah. that was a big you know, blow to them, obviously, mm -hmm. and made a difference probably for them offensively. Mm -hmm. But uh, in turn, I thought on offense, we did a good job on some things and um, took care of business. and. Got the win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of a bummer that they didn't have their guy. We didn't even realize it until in the broadcast Almost, until yeah. <laughs> like a quarter into it because I'd been oh, yeah, okay. kind of ready for it. The radio guy next to me is like, I just found out right before the game because he was in yeah. with the the coaches. So that's a real bummer for them. And you know, you like to see see those kinds of guys. And yeah. you know, he's a good quarterback, which translate. I mean. Be nice to see that coming into Lady Smith because oh, sure. uh, fantastic quarterback and fantastic uh, team all around. Good offense, good defense. Um, what do you know about Lady Smith? What can you share with us? Uh, seems like a pretty balanced approach, but a really good passing attack. Yeah, yeah, they got some uh, big playmakers with uh, two and seven. The receivers yeah. on the edge, uh, fantastic players. Two mm. is a tremendous athlete. Is that I think little, he's little that, Braden yeah. Little, yeah, he's running back. I think four kicks for touchdowns. Okay. Um, I think he just had another one last week. They got called back, so he probably could have had five or six. Um, then their quarterback is an outstanding player. He was yeah. great last year as yeah. a junior, and now he's back as a senior, and makes a lot of uh, problems for defenses because he scrambles well and gets outside the pocket. You know, similar to Shatek's quarterback, if he would have played, yeah. he did some of those things too with his feet and being accurate on the run. Mm. Uh, Melts, he does that. Uh, for Lady Smith, so those three are really good players, and they got, like you said, good balance with uh, some of the other players up front, and the running backs are yeah. solid as well. Yeah, it looks like they have kind of a two-headed monster, kind of split the carries there uh, between the running backs, and of course Melts as the quarterback uh, gets some yards too. So you guys have to be really on your p's and q's, uh, and speaking like reading and reacting and trusting and and that kind of thing defensively. How about defensively for Lady Smith? How do they? How do they look for your offense? Well, like all of our teams, you know, they're got their good players playing both ways. So yeah. now you got all those good skill players on defense. So I think there'll be a tough team to complete passes on because those kids are the same kids now in coverage um, and running with guys. So that'll be a challenge to get guys open against them. And then again, you know, the solid offense. They got the same guys, most of them anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know, playing on defense, and they've had some low-scoring games where they've kept some teams in check. So. You know, that shows that they're solid on both sides. Yeah. And heading to Ladysmith, that's almost a two-hour drive, and it's a little bit of a different setup. you got to kind of get dressed and take a long walk. And I mean, I don't know, have you, how have you felt about going to Ladysmith? It always seems like there's just a little bit of clunkiness after that long yeah. bus ride. Is that accurate? Or? It sure has been accurate. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've gotten wins there, but yeah. I feel like we've come out flat, like... I don't know if we've played there the last three times, two or three times. We've been really flat to start. Um, been fortunate to win a couple of those games. We made some big plays at the right time. And we just, for whatever yeah. reason, that trip, we haven't been super sharp coming out. So we need to do a much better job of that, obviously, this year. Yeah, yeah I remember a couple of years ago, Trenton had a, it was a close game. And then Trenton yeah. had a 99-yard interception return yep. for a touchdown. If I'm remembering right, did he have two against Lady Smith? Maybe one. Yeah, one later two. on. Yep, at home Jeez. game. Yeah. But. So yeah, Lady Smith, a good team, a good program, well coached, good athletes. So this is going to be a fun one. Uh, we are not going to live stream it, but we'll uh, 
put the stream uh, on We Are Grantsburg on, on Facebook so you can watch along with us. Um, yeah, and then, and then it's unity after that, and then the regular season is over. So this one's really for the conference. I think there's a two-game lead, so whoever wins this on Friday will be the conference champs regardless of what happens the next week or with the other games that week. Um, so it's a big, big deal. If you can make the trip, that's awesome. Hop in with somebody or whatever and uh, come cheer them on uh, in Ladysmith. So I think that's about it as far as football goes. We need to, last week we did our, your, our favorite football movies and we were, you said you couldn't sleep that night or you, you got I woke up. I and I immediately thought Rudy. I was like, how could I forget to say Rudy? I that just Rudy. hit me like in a bad dream or something. <laughs> couple other ones I think came across my mind I was like yeah that probably wasn't an accurate top three for sure. Rudy you had little giants up there. Yeah little giants wouldn't have made the top three. Uh, Rudy would have been up there. So Rudy would have been up there. We got some Sunday, comments. I mentioned too. I don't yeah, know if I mentioned that I can't last remember if that was in there or not. But, but that's a good football movie. So there was a few other ones that you said Blindside was another one. Yeah Blindside. Just so Erica Satterland uh, said the blind side and Rudy, okay. like exclamation point, like yes. how could you guys? Yes. Yeah, I said, how Bad. could we forget those good movies? And then Brian Vilstrup had to pile on. Rudy, for sure. Come on, guys. Easy, V. Come Easy, on now. Brian. I mean, Put it's, me on the spot, it's like, yeah. oh, you watch The Family Feud and you get all the answers right. Well, you're in there. <laughs> it's so, a okay. Spotlight it, on this camera. It's tough, man. Yeah, imagine the pressure that we're under, uh, especially him. He's got the like, ball games to think about. Um, let's go with this pump up song, pregame pump up song that never fails ya. I know you're a big 90s R&B yeah. hip hop Some guy, key sweat. so you want. I don't want, know if that'd be good well, for I was thinking you were like, <laughs> no, Keith, Keith Sweat, like Janet true Jackson, music fans and Tony Keith Braxton. Sweat, but. What do you got? Um, I'd probably have to go with Crazy Train is going to be one. Okay, Crazy Enter Train. Enter Sandman for sure is going to be on the list. Mm -hmm. um, ACDC's got, you know, three or four that, you know, Thunderstruck wow. would be definitely a top Back, yeah. five song to come out to, I think. So uh, <sighs> even a couple of Motley Crue, Kickstart My Heart, that's a good, you know, weightlifting so slash pump-up song. Is, uh, it, we're all good anthems stadium rock music was it all just the 80s and early 90s natalie what's your favorite pump up song natalie dornick she's she see, can't put see, somebody see, on I spot. Put her, yeah so she can't even think of one what's that really have one. she doesn't have one all right we ready okay we read that, that one? one okay all right so I don't know. It's like all good pump-up songs were back in the day. Are there Maybe any good ones? Maybe we're old. What? Oh, yeah, it could be. I mean, we're stuck in an era. Yeah. You like the program any given Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Rudy came out at that time. But, I mean, you look at college. Even yeah. Even Price are playing those songs, too. Yeah. So I did, it must be on something staples. there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can't think of. I mean, there are plenty. I, newer songs but those are just like anthemic out, yeah. n never fail just classic yeah. pump up songs all right any uh pre-game rituals what's okay what's the craziest or strangest pre-game ritual you've ever witnessed either yourself your coaching staff kids college what can you think of that's a, that's there's a, a lot. That's of, a, there's been a lot of weird things I've come across. Again, trying to think of them now. I'll, <laughs> I'll say mine was pretty weird last year. I always drove my old truck oh, on Fridays, okay. just Fridays. You know, and then we started winning, so then I felt like <laughs> I had to drive it every Friday. Okay. And I think I did a couple times this year, and then either we got beat or basically it's not even running right now, so <laughs> I put an end to that. And we started winning when I was driving my other truck, so then it was okay. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, that was kind of a weird one for me <laughs> last year. Um, man, I'm trying to... All right, so think of, weird you can think about that. There. Yes, there's plenty of weird stuff. If you can think of something between yeah. now and the next time, maybe you can come up with a story. Anybody okay. out there have weird pregame rituals? Uh, it's always the lucky socks type of thing. But anything else kind of more creative than that, driving an old beater truck is one of them. So... All right, I think that'll do it for this week's 
Coach's Corner. You, you, you're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great on the Coach's Corner. Am I? I yeah, I think you are. <laughs> what do you guys think? I that think must he's doing be some great. kind of uh, lead in. Do, uh, do you think I'm... You're going to do something to the screen or... <laughs> <laughs> now I am. I wasn't going. I wasn't going gotta to. Be something I gotta figure something. I'm gonna rip your head off. I can't do fantasy football. I mean, I just squeaked out a victory. Yeah, I'm I three and two. I what might not win all year. I lost by half a point. I know people are really concerned out there how I did, but I lost by half a point. That's <gasps> probably my chance at a win. <laughs> Who are you playing? Lots gone. I was playing Becky. Man, missed opportunity. <sighs> yep, all right, what do well, you do? What are you going to do? On the next week. On the next week. So, for Adam, I'm Bob. Thanks for watching. It's going off the rails. Like a crazy train. Oh, very nice lead in there. Should be on the news. <laughs>